Good morning and praise God. My name is Regina, and this morning I'm born again. We are going to read from the book of Matthew chapter 28 from verse 16 to 20. Matthew 28, verse 16 to 20. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the ages. The theme of today is Go eat therefore. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we bless your name this morning because you are worthy of our presence this morning, Jehovah. Thank you, God, for your mercies that are new. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness, Jehovah. As I share the word, I pray, God, that you're going to use me. In Jesus' name, I pray and give thanks. Amen. In this verse, we find that this was after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and we find that the three women had gone to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus Christ. But they found the angel who told them that to tell the 11 disciples who had remained that Jesus had gone ahead of them to Galilee. The disciples went to Galilee into a mountain, and this is where Jesus appointed them. He's doing the same to you today. We have a great commission, which is making disciples. We find that when Jesus was still on earth, a disciple was someone who believed in him, who seek him and followed him in his, own, in his daily life. But after he went to heaven, he was taken to heaven, anyone who was committed to Jesus was also called a disciple. Especially during this time of COVID-19, I want you to be a great commissioner. You're supposed to go out and reach out to somebody. Hmm? This time of COVID-19, I want to thank God because it is a time where we need to search our souls. You need to come back to Jesus by doing what is right, speaking to somebody about the goodness of God. You need to do this. Just start it from your home. Start from Jerusalem. I have a question to pose to you. Why do you need to secure disciples? We need to secure disciples because the Bible says that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to us. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 28, 19, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Once you become the disciple or follower of Jesus Christ, you'll get a new identity. You'll become the Son of God. Once you are the Son of God, your sins will be forgiven. Because we find that sin is the only thing that disconnects us from the Father. And the Bible says that our God is so merciful. Our God is pure. Our God is holy and our God is just. And no sin can connect us to God. We need to disconnect ourselves from the sin. In Romans 6, 23, the Bible says, Wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. We need to get this gift of God. We need to get this good thing that the Lord is promising us, which is eternal life. You might be thinking of so many things at the moment. But the word of God is clear. Everything that you do, everything that you are thinking about, everything that you want to do or you are, you are pursuing to do, 
remember that God is still holy. And we are supposed to live a pure life. We are supposed to, to work towards that mark of perfection, which is to inherit the kingdom of God. Let us learn to follow the word of God. Let us learn to be great commissioners. When Jesus went to heaven, he left us that work to be fishers of men. Let us win so many souls. Let us bring our friends to the kingdom of God. Let us bring even our, our, our enemies to the kingdom of God because if we leave them, they'll never go that, know that God is there. We need to show each and every person that our God is there and is still seated at the throne. It's my prayer that God is going to speak to you. You're not only going to do what your heart desires, but what God is telling you to do. Learn to listen to that small voice of God, the inner. Open your inner ears so that the Lord can speak to you with that still voice so that the Lord can show you the right way. It's my prayer that God is going to speak to us in a special way. We are going to learn to do according to God's will. We are going to look for as many disciples as possible. And I want to challenge you this morning that make it, a, 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 make it, make it something, a desire that a week should not pass before you bring somebody to the kingdom of God. Praise God. With those few remarks, I wish you well. Stay safe at home and God is going to help you. Amazing grace, how sweet.